In today's video, we are going to take one very simple topic. We are going to talk about the types of numbers. This types of numbers actually I am doing in two parts. In first part, we are going to discuss natural numbers, whole numbers and integers. And in second part, we will be discussing about rational numbers, irrational numbers and real numbers. So what are natural numbers? Natural numbers are basically the numbers which we use for counting or the things appear in nature in these counts only. If you want to count number of trees in a garden, they will definitely start from one. So the numbers one, two, three in which we usually do our counting are called natural numbers, right? The things in nature appear only in these numbers. So the set of natural numbers is usually denoted as N. This is the set of natural numbers and the elements of set we write in curly brackets and the natural numbers start from 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on and this can continue till infinity. We denote the set of natural numbers as capital N only and what are the elements of this set? The natural numbers start from 1 and then we have difference of 1 between two consecutive natural numbers. So 1 plus 1, 2 and 2 plus 1, 3 4 and you can continue this series till you want and this will be the set of natural numbers and it is always referred as capital N right so whenever you see this capital N you can take it as the set of natural numbers right in mathematics of course and now we have second variety and this is called whole numbers and how do we represent whole numbers whole numbers we usually represent as W and what is this? This is nothing but the set of natural numbers and a zero in it. So the elements of this set will start from zero and then we have all the elements of the set of natural numbers. One, two, three, four and again this will continue till you want, right? So W is the representation for the set of whole numbers, right? So W is the representation and it starts from zero it has zero right or you can say you have a hole inside the natural numbers one two three four these are the natural numbers and if you include a hole or a zero in the list of natural numbers you will get whole numbers right and what is next next we have integers the set of integers is denoted as capital Z or capital Z and what does it have it has a zero and then it has all the natural numbers that is one two three four five and so on right and it also have all the negative natural numbers that means it will have minus one minus two minus three minus 4 and so on right so z which we usually denote as the set of integers it has 0 then positive integers and along with those positive integers it has all the negative integers also right so the set of negative natural numbers positive natural numbers and a 0 is together called a set of integers so the set of integers is denoted as capital Z and it has negative integers that is minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1 then it has 0 and then it has positive integers that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Right? So this is the set of integers and if you see properly here also the difference between two consecutive numbers or two consecutive elements of the sets is 1 right the common difference over here is also 1 so the common thing in all these sets is actually the difference between two consecutive terms the difference between two consecutive terms is 1 everywhere right so this was all about natural numbers, whole numbers, integers and definitely you can perform 
any operation on these set of numbers. They are numbers, just we are trying to classify them, right? So you can perform addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, anything you can perform on all these set of numbers, right? And in next video, we are going to talk about rational numbers and irrational numbers. So bye-bye till then.